Hey everyone, so today we're going to be talking about a solo sword training drill with limited space indoors. So if you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that my old house had a really nice large training room, but it also had really high ceilings, so I could swing my sword around without any worry of hitting the ceiling and the walls and everything else. It just had a really nice indoor training space. But now I've moved into the inner city, so I don't have as much space, and the ceiling here, I can lift my sword up, but if I swing it, then there is a chance of me hitting the ceiling. So here's a drill that I've been doing at this new space uh, while I'm indoors. Often when I'm too tired, too lazy, it's too dark, or there's too many bugs outside to go down and train outside and do some cutting. So the drill is essentially just going through the different stances of your sword form and doing them in order and repetitively. So for me, I'm going to be using the stances of Jedokgum, which I've talked about and um, you probably see on my channel quite a lot. And so here then I'm going to go through the stances in order uh, from top to bottom and back up to top, including defensive guards and offensive guards as well. So when doing these stances, then it's really important to do them slowly and to focus on your balance, your footwork in your center, so that you know what you can and can't do from these stances. And transitioning between them is really important because it, when you're in battle, then trying to transition between stances on the go is something that you need the muscle memory for. And so this is a good way to do it in a slow, controlled environment. Now the stances that I do is I start with a long point mid guard and then I transition into a central high guard in a long stance, pushing off from the back leg. Then I go into a right high guard, also in long stance, pushing off from the back leg. And then a left high guard, long stance, pushing off the back leg. From there then I go to a defensive right mid guard in a back stance and then I go to a defensive left and mid guard, also in back stance. Then I transition to a low guard in long stance, pushing off the back leg, and then a left low guard. Then I go to the forward high guard, both right and left, focusing on getting a deep, wide horse stance that's side on, so I've got a good balance. And then I go back to my long point mid guard, and I start it all over again. So that's the first part of the drill. The second part of the drill is about cutting from those guards. And being indoors then cutting at full speed would be quite dangerous, but I can do it slowly. So from each guard, then I try and think about the different cuts that I can do. And I try and get a vertical downwards cut, a left and a right downwards cut, and also a left and a right rising cut. Because if I can do the, the four diagonal cuts, then the horizontal cuts will be able to be done. So here then doing it slowly then I try and focus on how to transition into each cut from the stance and also trying to get a good edge alignment while doing it slowly and feeling the weight of the sword and how I would push and pull my hands and use my body weight behind each cut. So now I'm doing it from a right high guard and so you can see I've got the downwards cuts and then the rising cuts. Now it's really important to return back to the guard after each cut so that you've got a good form from the cuts. And so from here then it's also important to practice the defensive guards. So here I'm doing the defensive right mid guard and trying to get transition into cuts from there. And this is really important because you want to be able to parry and then go straight into an attack. So visualizing the block and then how to transition into the attack for different openings is very important. Now, 
these are the cuts of Jedokum and the stances and guards of Jedokum. So like I said, this is how I've been trained, but you can use whatever stances, whatever cuts work for your sword form and however you've been trained. But the main thing is trying to create versatility from each stance and trying to get a good center and base so that you feel balanced and you can transition from any stance into any cut and back into any stance. Now the other thing is that this drill can be done with, you don't even have to have a sword really, but it's mostly an imagery training exercise. So you can use a ruler even, just to emulate the handle, and if you don't even have enough space for the actual blade length, then that's a really good way to do it. And you just gotta really focus on your stances and visualizing what you would be doing from each stance. And also, after that then, practicing the cuts with good edge alignment and also thinking about how you would transition from the stances into the cuts. So I hope this was a really helpful video for people who, like me, have not got a great training space indoors. Maybe you might have enough room to reach your sword up but can't swing it, or maybe you don't even have enough room for that, and then the ruler exercise becomes a really useful tool for you. Either way, hope that was helpful, and with that, I'll see you next time.